All right, guys. This is stick-driven mowers. Since I essentially live in the sticks, I'm gonna show you my mower, my first mower that I have. It's kind of chilly out. It's probably about ten degrees out up here in Northwest Illinois. But this is my ooh, focus. Come on, man. There we go a little bit. There, that's better. Alright, so here's my mower. It's a late 90s, I believe. Uh, John Deere STX 38 Hydro. There's a hydro stick over there. This is my mower that I've had for six months. You know, if it's a cat. But... It works real good. Uh, that was for the hood from a different mower. Indeed. Hood from a different mower off the spring system, just block bolted to it. And then the mower was actually screwed on, but after um, stuff falling on it when it was in the shed here, it got cracked, so I just took it off and I just mounted the headlights to it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I got this for free from my uncle. He gave it to me because he never used it. Well, he really didn't need it anymore because he wanted to buy it. Well, he just got a new one. But uh, fuel shut off to 12.5 HP Kohler Command. Damn it, cat. And whew, it works real good. The hydro, like I said, it's just the regular tires. I don't even know if these have been changed, but it's a good mower. Seat's a little worn. Uh, single straight pipe stack off the front. I don't do much off roading. Just comes well. I don't do much off roading, so I just have a stack because. I don't want to flip it. It'd be a pain in the butt. So, it's just a single stack I just made from piping and some other crap that we have. So, I'm going to let it give you a start up what we got. I've been working on my rototiller, the one to the right over there out of the two. That one having carburetor issues so I, I found the old motor and I just swapped the motor well swapped the carburetor off the same because it was the same motor so it's a single straight I'm in a big 50 by 80 shed and it's gonna be loud so I'm gonna stick her up over here Here better. I need to get.
my brother's little project, like a 50s mower. The little tire flipped off. Looks pretty good. Not as low as the idle has to go. That looks great. Kind of rigged up the switch here. Got two wires and wires on the side. Simple single pole switch. I do that with the mower deck and the key. Like I said, it works great. Uh, I'm going to do some videos. Well, I'm not too crazy because I only got the stock tires and those don't grip that too terribly much. But I'm gonna try to get some four wheeler tires or find some that I could fit that fit my rims and work off that. And I'll probably build a custom hood eventually, but not right away. And hopefully this weekend me and my buddy will pick up uh like a seventy some, like a seventy nine or eighty. Shut the fuel off. Something along that time period, uh, AC, Alice Chambers tractor, three speed. But, uh, I don't get to build it up because I've seen it already and it's going to be given to me for free. So, just like that one over there. That's the one we use to mow the lawn, but that's mine back there. But, that's what we're going to do. Oh, I gotta get new spark plug wires. So, hopefully that'll work out. And that's gonna be a legit off-road mower. Because I might even just leave that one the way it is. And just do a pulley swap and make so it can go faster. I'll just probably do that. I don't know how big of a pulley I can go on the transmission. Or the... No, I'm off the motor, so I'm gonna take care of that. But here's the project I've been kind of working on. I got the get the carburetor on. Well, a different carburetor because I pulled the carburetor off that motor. This one is what I pulled off. I just took some of the parts that were off this, like the uh, needle that was in here. Because the other one on it was fucked up. So I just pulled the uh, fuel line off of the old tank. Because that one was clear. I probably got to replace that. But I'm going to try to use this one. So I think that one plugged up. But I'll keep it. I got to wash up the gas tank yet. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So. Well, obviously, when I get it run, it's going to run too. Because I get my little garden that I'm going to have. I mean, we pulled this out of the shed, but we're trying to get it working. So, um, tires crack. I want to get different tires for it, some better tires so it has better stability. But, ugh, I got to work on this. Boom, but I got to go in and eat. Because I'm hungry, obviously. And I'm gonna oh, just leave this to rest for now. I'll come back tomorrow evening and work on it. And hopefully I can work on it. 
and get it running tomorrow. I'm just gonna leave it sit for the way it is right now. So, alrighty. I'll see you guys in the next video.